All right, my favorite people, back at it again with another video. And this is gonna be on a serious topic of me almost losing my life. So don't forget to like and subscribe the content and also comment below. It helps for the YouTube algorithm and really helps me out too. If you don't do it for the algorithm, go ahead and do it for me and it's free. Uh, and the reason why this is important is I wanna share with you is more of my story on where I came from, from where I am now and in hopes that it'll inspire you because it was definitely a humble beginnings as I would say, but sun's beaming right down on me. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take a trip, get some AC. All right, and so for those of you who are just now coming across me and don't know my story and is that I grew up in the not so good parts of the city of uh, Indianapolis and I'll just throw out some names, Hallville, The Meadows, Amberwoods, 42nd and Post where statistically I should not actually be shooting this content uh, for you because most people actually don't make it past the age of 18. And I remember there was one uh, scenario where I was playing basketball uh, with a friend of mine and the very next day they were gone because in the apartments next door, they actually attempted to rob the pizza man. And the pizza man just happened to be packing and uh, took his life. And the following day I was like, where is, uh, where, where is this person? They said, oh, well, so and so, uh, this happened. I was like, oh, okay. And then just continued basketball, uh, playing basketball. And then also was grew up in welfare, Section 8 housing and uh, food stamps and uh, didn't know as if I was actually going to make it uh, the following day, which I'll go into a couple of the, the scenarios where I almost lost my life, you guys. And I'm really just telling you these stories to show you where I came from and you being aware of where I am now that really shows you what's possible when you put your mind to it. So stay tuned, you guys. All right, so we've got Graffiti Park. Uh, that's just up here on the left hand side. It's a good attraction to see art. And I'm curious is, what would you guys uh, classify as being art? Go ahead and comment below with your thoughts on that. And I've just, as, as I've moved here and really gotten ingrained into the, the culture and the environment and the, the people, is just going around to see more of what the, the city is about because it has so much to offer. I really enjoy the, the hospitality uh, and the, the welcoming of everyone's uh, personalities. But what I do not enjoy, of course, is this damn heat, you guys, uh, and humidity. But that's the, the most I can complain about. I truly do feel blessed. So it's been a, a great uh, journey uh, so far uh, living here and looking forward to continuing it. So we're going to go ahead and take a little pit stop here and view some of this art that you see. All right, so we've got the quote right there, definitely to live by, sky's the limit. Uh, go always constantly working towards becoming the strongest version of yourself and strive as high as you can uh, on the side of your goals. We got Paul Wall, who's right here, who's native to the Houston, Texas market, as well as, well as Slim Thug. And I remember listening to their uh, music in my younger days and everyone has a story. Uh, and so just going back to mine where I almost lost my life is that there was a, I was about five or six years old. Both my fraternal twin brother and I were sitting down at one of those multicolor uh, Fisher Price tables. And a lot of people say that we look like, I don't think so. Uh, he's as dark as uh, Wesley Snipes. Just kidding, he's not that uh, dark. Just in case you're seeing this, uh, Stephen, is that we're sitting there and we're eating cut up hot dogs and ramen noodles. And I remember I would just take those and then I would, uh, what is it, spaghetti them, wrap them around my uh, fork and then put the hot dog and then eat them that way. And then I remember when we were done, we go upstairs, we're playing like video games or something. And then all of a, uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, we hear at a later point that, hey, there was a bullet that came uh, through the back patio. And I remember going to the actual patio and then seeing the actual crack where the bullet went, where the bullet went through. And if you look at the trajectory of the bullet, it was actually where both my brother and I were sitting. So he, he may not be here or I may not be here. But again, you guys is decided to not let that be limiting to me and use that as fuel as a way that, hey, I ended up surviving that and I'm still here to this day. But again, that shows you the statistics and growing up in that type of environment that, hey, one day you may be here and the next day you may not be not. So let's go ahead and take a little bit more look at the art. 
All right, and so yeah, interesting enough, and I want you guys' thoughts on what is your favorite piece of art that you see up there? Uh, is there's the mad scientist that you see there, uh, there is the Grim Reaper, there's the astronaut that is throwing up the rock star sign, and there's a guy that's got DNA that's coming out of his eyes. No pun intended with that, by the way. Uh, so the, the next story, uh, when I almost lost my life, is I remember uh, both my brother and I, again, we're grocery shopping and we're around roughly about the same age with our, our mother and we end up getting into, we're, we're grocery shopping. I remember we would always go and ask for, hey mom, can we get this? Hey mom, can we get this? And she would say, no, we don't have enough money for that. We don't have enough money for that. And I remember always just trying to sneak it in the cart. And then when we would go to the checkout is, she would say, no, we, we're not able to afford that. And then she would take, uh, take it out. But uh, is I remember we got our groceries and then we end up getting into the car and then as we're actually driving off you guys my door opens and I actually don't even have my seatbelt fully on and I started to creep out of the window because not out of the window out of the actual uh, the, the, the opening of the, the door because it was just swinging open and then I was swinging outside of that but luckily my brother ended up catching me or the seatbelt whatever it was but that was another time where it was very close in another instance and again this goes into the statistics is that every other day uh, on the apartments that we lived in which was the meadows there was cages outside of where we actually lived in uh, and the, the, the cages were outside the windows so people could not get in versus us getting out. And I remember every other day we had to get down on the ground because it sounded like fireworks were going on outside and we wanted to avoid the stray bullets in those uh, cases too. So I would love for you guys to comment below and have you ever been in a situation such as that yourself where you felt your life was in danger and how did you go about that? So. That's just uh, several stories that I have been able to overcome and not and use that as fuel as, okay, this is where I came from. How do I leverage that to now inspire others to, I was exactly where you were and then ended up turning lemons into lemonade. All right, so I got a story for you guys because I love stories on perception. And this is when I was actually in a coffee shop and I hear this noise in the background. It's yep, yep, yep. And I'm just thinking to myself, very interesting. A couple minutes later, the same thing happens. You hear yep, yep, yep. So I put my headphones in, turn the, the music up, uh, and it's silent for a while. I really don't hear anything. And then a couple minutes later, the same thing. And it gets louder at this point in time. Yep, yep, yep. And to myself, I'm thinking that I want to get up and now go look at the parent and say that, hey, get your kid, they're being a little bit uh, loud. But I thought to myself, this is the perfect time to practice patience. And so then I re-put my headphones in and just letting it go. And then a little bit later is it gets very loud and very consistent, like, yep, 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 yep. So loud at this point in time and very consistent. And then I hear people get up and then I hear, I, I see that the, the parent is walking out the door and then the child has, you can see that they have a disability and that the parent was ashamed that everyone had to go through uh, what the, the actual child was doing. So that's just a story I like to share that it really showed me patience and you never know what someone else is going through. So I appreciate you all so much. Go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and literally comment with anything below. It's entirely free, you guys. It takes less than half a second. If you got a touch screen, just touch like this onto the, the screen. That way you can give that like. It really helps me out. If you don't want to do it for the YouTube algorithm, do it for me. Until then, keep working towards becoming the strongest version of self. Appreciate you. Look at some more art there in the background.